Hi, I'm Tim and this is Soundbeam 5. What does it actually do? It uses these movement sensors and anywhere you break the beam it will trigger a sound like this. But it's a bit cleverer than that because it also constantly measures which way you're moving and how fast you're going and it maps that to whatever musical sounds you've chosen to use. A bit like an invisible keyboard. Now I can also use additional sensors and these wireless switches to add different parts to the piece. So I'm going to get my drums going, back to the organ solo, let's try something a little bit more ambient. I hope it's clear already that this is an incredibly accessible way into making music for people of all ages and abilities. Um, if you want to make it a bit more challenging, we can also use it to play tunes. But you don't have to use it for just music. There's a big library of sound effects recorded into the machine, uh, which you can avail yourself of, which makes it great for any kind of drama, storytelling, or multi-sensory project. So here's one that might, for example, be suitable for Halloween night. This is a whole set of scary sounds. As you can see there's no computer on the table and this film is one shot so I'm not going away to do any programming. I'm simply navigating through the different uh, pieces of music and soundscapes that I want to use today using one of these switches. I'm not having to touch the controls on the machine at all. That comes later when you want to start assembling your own original material but there's a wealth of uh, setups inside the machine for you to use when you're first getting started. Do have a look at our website because on there you'll see some lovely bits of film of people from all over the world uh, with and without disabilities having a great and creative time uh, using Soundbeam. Yeah.